We had light bulb moment when yeah. we were cooking bacon on the stove and Esther's five pounds at our feet waiting for something to fall off of the stove. And I just was like, oh my gosh, like I just, it just happened. It was like this, Can't do this. bulb, it, like it just, it was, it was a crazy moment. And we never ate meat after that point. One of the worst practices ever developed on the planet was this consumption of other animals for food and using them for resources. These things happen behind walls and these dark, horrible, stinky places where no one's allowed to enter. I think people would not participate in violence against these animals if they saw the animals firsthand. I have no doubt about it. Nothing serious is going to change until there's a, a, just a catastrophe that forces us to change, that we just realize that we're killing the planet. There is a vision of the future that doesn't include the exploitation of animals. Die Wachstumsraten sind so hoch wie in keiner Branche. Selbst Hightech und so kann mit uns im Moment nicht mithalten. Das ist nicht nur ein Markt, das ist nicht nur irgendwas kurzfristiges. Jeder Fleischproduzent hat ein veganes Regal rausgeschoben. Guck mal, ich kann jetzt auch vegan. Plant-based diets could reduce greenhouse gas emissions of up to two thirds and eight million lives could be saved. Sanctuaries provide a sort of aspiration to the kind of world we could create. Da ist jemand, jemand der leben will. This is the social justice movement of our times. It affects the most number of beings. The initial goal is bringing as many non-human animals from the side of the things to the side of the persons. Instead of domesticating animals, we're domesticating cells. How could I choose something that came from a slaughtered animal if, the, if what my experience is is the same? I think it will eradicate traditional livestock meat production. 